mid handicap golfer battling the hooks. Let's see if we can zoom in and get a better look at this one to see what's causing that right to left action. Setup looks to be leaning over a bit on your toes, a little reduced in your bend angles, at least from the lower body. Try to settle back on your heels a bit, get your butt pushed out a little bit more, but overall you're okay. That's just going to lead to things getting inside, which I imagine you are inside out with your description of, description of path being 10 to 12 degrees inside to out. Uh, looking at this takeaway and the club path going back, it stays alongside the path for a good amount of time, but that club faces pretty square to closed and you're doing that by not rolling your forearms open at all and instead just bending folding collapsing that trail elbow early and also away from the side of your body if that trail elbow were to stay a bit more connected and tucked you'd have to either shorten your backswing or raise that left arm to help get you a little bit more upright but instead your left arm works almost horizontal across your chest playing into that bent right arm and you're in an extremely flat or inside to out position. Let's just use that crude line to try to see where that club head drops and from here back down to this far inside you are exactly what you said 10 to 12 degrees into out on that slinging hook. So the issue is your path. Obviously face control plays into this as well but that top position is going to be an inside out path no matter what you do unless you really try to chop some wood from that but you have to try to get into a more upright position going back. So how do we do this? It's going to be that right arm. It is much more difficult to do this than what I will make it seem, but it's straight enough, your right arm from the takeaway, but almost immediately in your backswing, you are bending that right arm. Just simply try to take golf swings where you do not bend the right arm. It will make you uh, go more upright on your path and create more width, uh, a position we cannot see from the down the line view, but it will get the arms and hands more away from your body, potentially providing a lot more power. You want to get your elbows tight and tucked in the downswing rather than tucking them in the backswing and then throwing all that energy away on the way through. Speed is okay. The rest of it, I think, isn't really worth talking about right now. I think you just have to try to work that right arm to stay straighter and try to get your left arm to work not across your chest as much, but more underneath your chin, trying to get those hands higher, and then you might have a chance of getting that club pad on a more down-the-line type of plane on your downswing. Good luck. Sendaswing.com.